Looks like it's time for another film learning episode. Oh, that was the worst pun I've ever heard. Hey guys, and welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning good. And today, we're going back in time. Cue that Huey Lewis song. Really? Oh, that's copyright? So we can't use it? So I'm just gonna stand here like an idiot? Let's just get to the request, shall we? Gazi SOS asked, Hey Lone Archer Films, please make flash time travel effect. Can you do it? You know, I think I can. Now to be clear, today we're only covering the effect of Barry appearing in his house after he travels back to the past, just like in our opening clip. The speed force and the running, well that's an effect for another episode. I just don't want to mislead anyone out of the gate. With that out of the way, in order to complete this effect, you need to shoot your actor pretending to arrive at that point in time. You'll then need a background plate without them in it. Additionally, if you have a leaf blower or a friend handy, make sure you give your actor a quick blast of air when you shoot the arrival. That's right. Practical effects. Oh, and while you're at it, grab the download pack that contains our flashes and some lightning assets, and then let's get to work. Alrighty, here we are in After Effects yet again, and I've got my comp set up and ready to go. Now before we get started, let's talk about this comp a little bit. As you can see, I have my background plate on the bottom and my actor layer on top. You can see that when my actor layer starts, the stuff in the background gets all blown around. All I did here is get my wife to turn on our leaf blower for half a second. This really helps to sell the illusion that something is blown out violently in the room. I put some props there that I knew would blow over easily as well. Okay, let's get on to this effect. Now I'll fully admit guys that I simplified this one a great deal, as I have a boatload of doctor's visits, late nights and all kinds of crap since my son was born less than two weeks ago. So I do apologize if I gloss over a few things, for example, the creation of the speed force energy. Now our first step is to fade our actor in over a few frames. So select that actor layer, hit T to bring up opacity, and hit the stopwatch. We'll then crank it down to zero, head forward three frames, and crank it back up to 100. Seems pretty simple so far, eh? Next, if you grab the download pack in the project menu, you'll notice two files, one called Blast and one called Lightnings. So let's open Blast. As you can see, it looks pretty damn similar to the effect on the show with good reason. I actually hand animated this one frame by frame to look as close as possible to the effect on the show using turbulent noise and masks. I'll make an amendment to this episode in the future and attach it below to show how I did this, but for now, I've done the work for you, so yay! So let's drag and drop this bad boy into our comp and change the transfer mode to screen. The next thing we want to do is marry that final big burst of energy to the fade in of our actor. So let's head to the start of our actor layer and then simply drag the blast footage along until it marries up like so. Let's check out a preview. Nice. And guess what? We only have one more step and this son of a gun is done. So let's head back up to the project menu and find our footage marked lightnings. If we check that out, you can see that just like with our blast footage, I've hand animated the lightning frame by frame to match the show's lightning as well as I could. But this does have consequences. So let's drag and drop it into our footage, below our blast, and change the transfer mode to screen. You can also use add if you want it to be brighter though. Okay, so with this layer, we want to line it up directly with the final blast of our energy right here. Now if we preview this, you'll see the issue. That's right. The lightning is all over the place and not where I want it to be. Now that's because I'm not in the exact same position as Barry was in the show. So my frame by frame recreation of the lightning doesn't look right in my shot. So how do we fix that? Easy, we just animate its position. Hit P, head to the first frame when you see our actor on screen, hit the stopwatch and adjust the lightning so it's centered around your actor. We then go frame by frame adjusting the position until you end up with something that looks like this. Pretty cool. As I said guys, I wish I could go more in depth here, but my little boy does come first. Here he is right here in his first video. In case you're wondering, his name is Dexter Jackson Cook, and just like with the bottle that I just gave him, we are done. Yes, that was him. He's actually sleeping next to me while I'm recording this. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. So that's my take on the flash time travel arrival effect. Now I know there's more than one arrival effect, for example Barry running into the past for the first time, but as I mentioned last week, I'm working on some easier effects to start this season due to my son's birth, and I think you'll agree, this was pretty easy, but it still looks cool. 
As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're new here, drop a hydrogen particle right on that subscribe button. You can check out our other three seasons of Film Learning in the description. Here's the Facebook, here's the Twitter, and until next week when I catch a flurry of bullets, keep learning. <laughs>